I'm Errolson Hugh. I'm the co-founder and creative director of Acronym. We're here at the studio in Berlin, Germany. Acronym is a label that is uh, focused on unifying, I guess, style and technology. We were fortunate enough to actually work at Studio Osti with Massimo and his team just before we founded the brand, probably, when was that? 1998, I think. It's <laughs> uh, a long time ago. Acronym Kit One was directly inspired uh, by his work. And in a lot of ways, all of the projects that we do uh, were inspired by his work because maybe not necessarily the specific items he made or specific collections he worked on, but the way he worked and the process of creating things. Uh, we were greatly influenced by that. I have still to this day never seen another designer that works in the same way, uh, using physical samples and prototypes and a photocopier and a stapler and a pair of scissors and cutting literally and pasting parts of garments together and kind of Frankensteining these hybrids into place rather than drawing and then have this assemblage, this collage of, of, of pieces and then that assembled mock-up would go to the factory where the next prototype would be created. I think the most important lesson that we learned from Massimo Osti is that you have to care. You have to care about what you're doing. Um, and you have to do it for the right reasons. And it actually comes down to the thing you are making and the soul and the intentions that it embodies. And it's not just a product. It's not just something you wear. It's it's more than that, even if it's hard to put it into words. Um, the fact that you can't put it into words is the reason you have to make it, you know? It's a, and I think all of that stems from, essentially from the care and the respect for the craft and for making things. Yeah, and that's something we still try to have every day when we work something that matched the times rather than something that was purely imagination or purely trend-based um, or purely aesthetic. It was more than aesthetics. It was also aesthetic. That's super critical. That um, Everything was beautiful and, and worked, but it also worked. It was beautiful and it worked. And that balance and bringing it to a focus and into a, that synthesis in such a natural way I think that's the, the unique skill that Massimo Asti had. It's hard to overstate how much he affected the world um, of clothing. Yeah. Massimo Asti today would be doing something no one else is doing. He would be working with the newest tools, the latest techniques. He'd probably be into artificial intelligence and 3D printing and. Um, but he would also be connecting it to social issues and environmental issues. Um, I don't know what he would have been doing, but he would have been extremely contemporary and uniquely his perspective. I guarantee he would not be doing, following what anyone else is doing. <laughs> the first item I have that reminds me very much of Mr. Osti and Studio Osti is uh, a jacket I don't know if it's the first or second season of Massimo production. A jacket that I had seen in a store after having visited Studio Osi once um, and was just like fiending for, I had to have this jacket, but of course I didn't have any money, couldn't afford it. <laughs> and uh, so I would go into the store and look at it all the time. Um, it then got sold and I, you know, before I could save up enough money to get it. Uh, and then funny enough, you know, months later, uh, I met somebody whose husband had bought the jacket and actually wasn't wearing it. He said it was the wrong size or whatever. And uh, so I managed to trade him for something else and then actually obtain this jacket. Um, and to date it is one of my favorite jackets. Uh, that particular jacket had a rather direct influence, I think, particularly on the first 
uh, acronym jacket that we ever made. Not that any of the details are the same, but the level of complexity, uh, the asymmetry, the details, sort of the cumulative effect of all of these small nuances, textures, functions, um, pockets, that balance was something that we were actively trying to achieve with our own products. And then the second object um, that I would say reminds me of Masmosti is the first product that we made for Acronym, which was called uh, Kit One. And Kit One was a box set that contained uh, one jacket, one bag, two CDs, and some manuals. Um, essentially, we didn't have enough money to launch an entire collection, so we took all of the ideas of a whole collection and put them down into one product. Uh, this took us, I think, two and a half, three years to make. I remember the last day we were at Studio Osti uh, as that project was finishing, we actually showed uh, Mr. Osti the first graphics for Acronym, the logo. He's probably one of the first people to have seen the logo. Um, and then 1998, 1999 is when we really began uh, working on Acronym. And so that experience was at Studio Osti was immediately before the development of Acronym. So all of that was fresh in our minds. Um, uh, even the first prototype for um, the jacket sling, which is one of our signature details, we had originally come up with a version of that at Studio Osti uh, that worked a little bit differently with the clip, but um, we had the idea in, in Studio Osti originally for that. Um, anyway, so Kit 1, we worked on it for many, many years, and uh, uh, unfortunately, we lost contact at that point and we were really focusing on trying to survive <laughs> as a company. Um, but uh, yeah, if you look on the inside of the manual, it's actually, uh, it's actually dedicated to Massimo Austin.